Hey Murphy, are you gonna? What, you, what are we gonna talk today? Topic. What are we gonna talk about today, Murphy? Yeah. You got a few <laughs> ideas? Are you gonna stir the pot with us? In our Australia Day. So merch. how would you say that in the most Australian voice? What the slogan? Hmm. Yeah, the most Australian way to say it. Good on you, mate. Nah, say, good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Or you little ripper. <laughs> now nah, cheers it off. Cheers. More, more. If I've got that much, you're gonna eat all that. You don't have to do that. Just fucking send it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Didn't have to chase it. That wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. Next time we'll do that with mega death sauce. Yeah. You're spitting it out. Sw- you'd, think of, you'd think you'd be a swallower for fuck's sake. Jesus, Taylor. Oh, man. The first. Let's cheers the plates. <laughs> Think a oh, fuck. Fuck. Out. Okay. Okay. Think a oh, fuck. Fuck. What's our first topic? <laughs> oh, this one, of course. Tinder horror stories. <laughs> you can go first on that one, Taylor. Oh we my god. We don't name names. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And what we'll do is we're going to keep ones we've pulled out before and not do the same one until. X amount of time has passes, and then we will revisit our opinions in the years or months or whenever to come mm. to see if anything we've said has changed. We may, as we evolve and grow as people, because what you say in 2020 is probably going to be completely illegal in 2040. Mm. So, <laughs> all right. Well, Tinder horror stories. I have a pretty, uh, a pretty big one. So, I went on a date with a boy. He took me to the fringe. Now, when we were going, we were going to a a comedy show, which was just a little bit outside of the city. So we were running a little bit late as well. When we got to the place, there was a park just outside the front. And we thought, yeah, perfect, no worries. Parked there, ran in, watched the show, and it was great. When we came back out, he had a parking fine on his car and I thought oh geez that's like I'm so sorry that's so crap that that happened but he got a little bit upset like he was a bit like oh like can't believe you didn't see that and I was like yeah but what you didn't see it either like you're it, the no, one parking driving ticket to the responsible of the driver whoever the drives the, the car driver. that's your own problem like You've got to I'm check the guest I'm not paying attention anyway so after that fiasco we went into the city to go and into the garden of unearthly delights and um when we were there he, he parked about he parked about what was it three three kilometers outside the city he parked ages out i was like could you not go a little bit closer like i was a little bit lazy he's like oh i just wanted to go for a walk and i was like oh okay i'm lazy i didn't really want to walk i know that might sound bad but i was like all right so we went on this really long walk i think he was just being stingy because he had just got a parking fine you didn't want to pay for more parking so we went into the fringe mm-hmm. and we went and got some food and i went and got a, a like a a thing of coca-cola and i think i got some donuts as well and i'm eating the donuts and and then anyway take a shot go on <laughs> i'm eating the donuts and the drink is sitting next to me and he literally just grabs my coca-cola from the other side of the table opens the lid and downs it puts it back on the table and i was like oh did you want some of that did you like he goes oh well i kind of felt like i spent all that money on that comedy show and i got a parking ticket i guess i kind of it's i deserve it it's like it's just mine and i was like what the yeah. hell where do your decent manners go i don't know you you can't just grab my stuff and take it like you have to ask I just thought that was weird. It was very weird. Anyway, so he drove me home, and as we were driving back to my house, I had already taken off my seatbelt, got my bag ready, like all ready to just jump out of the car and go. And I was giving off those vibes that that's exactly what I wanted to do. And um, and then I got out the car, and he was like, "So can I come in?" And I was like, "Oh, no, sorry." No. Did you give him the hug to the dodge? I the, gave the, him the, like the a dodge, little hug, the dodge and then hug I was like, "All right, I've got to go." Anyway, I went inside the house. He was sat out front. He was he was sat out the front of my house. Hughie. <laughs> 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 All right. So what's the what's the moral of the story? What should the guys out there learn? He rang me 
He rang me again and said, are you sure you don't want me to come in? Oh, there's the... He stayed there, I out the front about that and then he rang me again and then was like, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Are you sure you don't want to fuck right Get now after I steal your drink, blame you for my parking ticket and make you walk three kilometres with blisters on your feet? No. Are you sure you don't want to... You sh- you're, you're sure? Are you sure? Because you're really catch. missing out. That, that's nice. That's a Hail Mary. It was the biggest waste of time in my entire life. Thanks for that. So, Thanks for your so tale. what's your Tinder horror story? Well, I'll keep mine short and sweet. <laughs> it, mine's pretty self-explanatory, so but sticky, I mean, man. Tinder for me, um, I'm not really expecting to meet. <clears throat> anyway, I, I, I'm there for a particular set of reasons, and one of those reasons was fulfilled, you know, <laughs> by you know, consensually by both parties, and she it was it was lovely to get to catch up with her, but she was a bit off. She was she was acting a little bit strange during our interaction. She came over to my house. We had fun, you know, you did what you do what Tinder dates do. But it wasn't until she left that her whole attitude changed. And she said, finally. And she was just getting into the taxi. I was like, what? And she goes, by the way, I fucked your brother and now I fucked you too. And then slams the door and just drives off into the cab. And I was like, oh. so it was a revenge. She already knew who I was what? on my Tinder. It was a revenge thing because my older oh. brother had slept with her and done something. And I don't know, she wanted revenge. So she thought she had to. Oh my god! That was my, she, that was my horror story. I was, so she I was had just sex confused. with you and then told and you. And then told me. <laughs> and then just dumped that on me. Just that grenade blew off.